carbon border adjustment mechanism cba commerce and industry minister said government will take all necessary steps to protect indian industry from any adverse impact of the carbon border adjustment mechanism so it is, talks about protecting ind indian industry from carbon border, border adjustment mechanism okay why what is this first we'll analyze that then we'll see why it is important about cba carbon border adjustment mechanism okay first one is it's a tax carbon intensive plan to tax carbon intensive products like iron steel iron and steel cement fertilizer aluminum electricity and hydrogen from 2026 okay it is mainly from 2026 it is of this is by eu okay european union european union is planning to tax carbon intensive products like steel cement uh, iron and steel aluminum uh, electricity hydrogen etc okay this passed by european union in 2021 this is also known as carbon border tax or carbon leakage instrument the other names of carbon border adjustment mechanism is carbon uh, border tax or carbon lead a leakage instrument okay this is the by eu this is mainly taxing the products which contain carbon okay aim is to eliminate the di difference in carbon eliminate the difference in carbon price faced by companies subjected to eu's emission trading system okay or its domestic companies based on carbon market that is eu has a commitment okay fit for 55 in 2030 package this means that by 2030 it will reduce its carbon emissions by 55% okay ghg carbon mainly greenhouse gas emissions reduction by 55% in 2023 that is the major commitment of eu okay so uh, as a part of it it also introduce the cba okay this means that the uh, the carbon containing from different countries or carbon containing products from different countries will be taxed okay but if the carbon emissions are uh, tax of the carbon emissions are paid by the companies in their respective countries they will be getting some deductions also that is one of the criteria okay but the problem is but the problem is it is only when applicable in case of supplier non eu group meaning see this is one company which is in the eu okay this is one company example india if india is sending something india is exporting something or a, this this one this buyer is also in eu if a buyer in eu imports our thing from india he will need a cbam certificate okay but this is not needed in case if he is from a eu country that is the difference okay if from outside he need a certificate if from eu he don't need a certificate that is the major difference or the problem with it eu importers can buy carbon certificate corresponding to the carbon price on the lines of eu's carbon pricing rule the price will be decided by the eu okay the certificate amount of tax also etc will be decided by the eu clear deductions can be claimed for their eb uh, cbam liability if non eu producer has already paid for the emission in the country of production deductions will be claimed non exception only deductions will be given to them clear now significance see the eu eu is a group of nearly 20 countries okay so in every uh, whenever we are import, exporting something we need to pay this carbon tax okay this indirectly signifies that if we need to get or we need to transform to something sustainable not containing carbon otherwise we need to pay the higher taxes right so this indirectly means that we are getting shifted to sustainable thing so this means a significant uh, significant this also pays a significant part of it okay 
it encouraged non eu countries to adopt more stringent environmental regulations which will reduce global carbon emissions clear environmental regulations will be more stringent it can prevent carbon leakage discourage by like discouraging companies from relocating to countries with weaker environmental regulations okay because in weaker environment if countries we having weaker environmental regulations they will have the tendency to make more carbon intensive products but ultimately what they need to do they need to import export it to a eu country if it is a case of a eu country so the, in there they need to pay more taxes according to the carbon content net okay so it will discourage the companies to produce a carbon intensive product okay the revenue generation from cba will be used to support eu climate policies which can be learned by other countries to support green energy clear now we will study what is the significance or impact of it in, in case of india how can it impact india first one in india's export it will india ex, uh, affect india's export see majorly this uh, tax is mainly for things containing carbon like iron and steel cement etc india is an exporter of cement okay iron and steel it has an adverse impact on india's export of metals uh, materials like iron and steel aluminium products to eu because these will face extra scrutiny under the mechanism okay our product export will be affected like iron and steel aluminium etc okay india's major export to eu are iron ore steel etc will face a significant threat due to carbon leakage ranging from 19.8 to 52.7 our products contain nearly 19 point nearly 20 to 52 percentage of carbon so that much of tax will be given need to be given by us okay from 1st january eu will starting the collecting the carbon tax on each consignment of on each consignment they will be ta taxing okay steel aluminium cement fertilizer etc this will affect us our economy will again get down because we are giving additional amount in the form of taxes okay we are ex uh, getting exports or money from exports but from that some amount or major amount from of it will be gone in the form of carbon tax okay next one carbon intensity and high tariff carbon intensity of indian products are significantly high that is the my nearly 20 to 52 percentage are, uh, are the carbon content present in indian products okay also because coal dominates overall energy consumption our uh, our carbon intensity is higher than the eu and many other countries our energy is mainly energy production is mainly based on coal and natural resources other natural resources okay so ultimately or indirectly our carbon content is high okay the proportion of coal fired power in india is close to 75 percentage which is much higher e only 50 percentage and global average is only 36 percentage r is twice than global average okay that is a problem therefore direct and indirect emissions from iron and steel and aluminium are major concern for india as higher emissions would translate to higher carbon prices next one risk to export competitiveness see majorly our export uh, export products are iron and steel etc aluminium etc so, so our export competitors will also increase okay it will initially affect a few sectors but may expand to other sectors if uh, iron and steel aluminium cement etc get affected it will every sector of this economy or every part of the economy is very interconnected right so if one sector affects the ultimately it will lead to eventually it will lead to the other sectors as well okay so will refined petroleum products organic chemicals pharma medicines textiles etc like top 20 goods imported from india by the eu will be affected okay since india has no domestic carbon pricing scheme in place this poses a greater risk to export competitiveness so as other countries with the carbon pricing system in place might have to pay less carbon tax or get exemptions clear so this will indirectly lead to export competitiveness rise in export competitiveness clear